Hi, it's Carly McAvoy. I wanted to record a video explaining the final uh, portfolio. Um, sometimes I do refer to it as a final project, but it's actually a portfolio is the project uh, for Math 107. And because it's 15% of your grade, I want you to be very clear about what I'm looking for and how you're going to earn those points. You should start off having a cover page, and the cover page should include your the course name, your name, uh, and the table of contents and, and the date. Um, the table of contents is listed here. You can take this exactly as shown here and put it in there. Some people will ask me if they can put the table of contents on the second page. That's fine. You can see it's five points for a cover page. The table of contents is very specific. It kind of goes in the order that we did the class. You have a cover page, then you include your project, your first project, which was tessellation, and a reflection for that. So whenever I ask for a reflection, I have a form for that. You'll see it posted in the assignment. But let's look at the reflection, the individual reflection. You're going to use the individual reflection for tessellation. And if you decided to do the math history test alone, you would use this for this as well. Some of you may have done the math history test as a group. You would use the group reflection. Um, it's going to ask you just how, how long you spent in general. That's because I try to see, like, how long are people spending on these assignments? Is it something I need to pare down, or is it very reasonable as it is? And then highlight one of these two, if you did both. Um, and then highlight one of the words in each of these boxes, or if none of those words fit your experience, type a new word over here. Also, you can type sentence under here if you want to have, if there's something that you really feel compelled to say to me. Um, the amount of effort that you spent the difficulty level, what was the most difficult part of the project, was the help given to this project inadequate, adequate, confusing, helpful, just enough. Again, you can add another word. These are the ones that come, have come up the most for students, so I just started putting them in there, and it's faster for you just to highlight it and um, just to, to uh, highlight it in there, whatever it is, than having to type all that out. And then, then this one, uh, has, what's the, the point is this, what did you think? Um, and then you type out, in this case, in the individual one, two to three sentences about something you learned about the project, something you found interesting. You can talk about challenges you had, but this is not a, a moment to dump on your group or on your instructor or whatever. It's just something that you learned about this project in general. All right, so i get rid of that. So that's the reflection. You might use it once or you might use it twice in your project. So just keep that in mind. So we have, um, then we have the next project was the expected value. And the other project reflection is either for a group or class. So in, in the expected value, everybody was kind of doing their own thing, but was responding to people, giving feedback to the class. So we, I would consider that a class project. Um, so um, for this one, um, same type of thing. It's you either you're going to use this for scatter plots and expected value. And also, if you did the group uh, test for the math history test, if you use the group, you're going to use it there. So highlight which one of these you're talking about, a general idea of how long it took you. And again, the same type of questions. Um, and then you're going to talk about describe this project in your own words. What did you actually do in this project? What was the point of this project, etc., and then talk about um, some experience from that um, that you learned from it, or that you found interesting, any positive or negatives you had while completing the assignment, including you can say like it was challenging working with the group. But again, please don't call other people out in your paper and you can just say group members or whatever. But it isn't really a place to dump on your group again. It's about just kind of could be that you had a negative experience because it was difficult scheduling with your group. Please don't call anyone out in your um, explanation. Um, and so you're going to do the same thing for scatter plots. Fill out that reflection again. This is just the order that you're going to put these into your document. Some people will use um, Word doc if they're comfortable with that. Some people will use uh, Google Docs. You have to be able to get all these in there though without a link. Some people will use uh, uh, PowerPoint. Other people will assemble these documents using uh, PDF. Um, you can get free PDF. I'll, I'll put some 
links to some free PDF assemblers that you could use. So it's up to you what format you turn it in, but I can't, uh, I can't actually open Google Docs in map my open in his canvas so you if you did it in that you need to then save it as a pdf and then upload it um, so uh, then you have a my open math reflection i don't know why i have assessment there but anyway uh, my open math reflection is asking you uh, questions about my open math you need to use a scale of one through five if you put it seven on there i'm gonna so i don't know what that means for me one through five five being high and one being low and then if you didn't use something in here, just didn't something that you don't even know was available, just put NA for maybe you didn't use GeoGebra or maybe you didn't use Desmos. Some people do, but many people don't. That's fine. Just answer all those a number one through five. It is uh, meant to go kind of fast, this portfolio. It's not meant for you to spend hours writing reflections and all that for some of this. It's very quick. Um, then after the My Open Math Reflection, you'll have your weekly discussions um, reflection. And in the weekly discussion, I list the discussions. We had a couple of more discussions, but these are the ones that I really put in there to kind of introduce you to something maybe outside the realm of what you're used to taking algebra classes and whatever. So these are the seven that I want you to consider that we had this um, quarter. And I'm just asking you, which of these did you find the most interesting? Pick something. Even if you didn't find any of them interesting, there had to be one that was the least awful. Um, did you? How much uh, do you think the amount of time it took to complete the discussions was reasonable? Um, and and so forth. And these two can just be. This one can just be the name of the video. This is just yes or no. And then these last ones where I say why or why not. Go ahead and give me a sentence or two of uh, what would you recommend leaving them in? Why or why not? That kind of thing. So this one has a few sentences to be included, but overall, again, not a lot of writing. Um, whoops, then I want to go back to the rubric. Um, then after the weekly discussions reflection, you're going to do the overall class reflection. The overall class reflection is by far the most points of anything in the project. So you want to spend some time with that, um, the course self-reflection. The first thing you have is I've listed eight things here that were in your class, including my open math homework, your projects, your activities, um, anything that I think was irrelevant for this. There's other things that are in the class. I didn't list everything in the class, obviously. Um, and I want you to go through and use one through eight. Use one once, two once, three once, etc. Um, listing the things that you like the most of number eight and then the things you like the least would be number one. So a number four would be kind of like, eh, it was in there, it was okay. Um, I do use this. I kind of look at the ones and twos and the sevens and eights and try to talk about what did everybody hate the same things and is there something I can fix or improve upon that for future reference. So please don't just use ones and eights. I want you to use one through eight, every number used once. And I'm not going to come back and go, wait a minute, why did you give this one a five and this one a four? Like, uh, kind of think about your one, two, seven, eights, and the rest of them you can kind of fill in as you are uh, as you like. Um, and then there is a one through five scale question again. Uh, one indicates you do not agree with the class with this, and five would mean you do agree with the statement. And then this is the big part right here where you're asked to write a few paragraphs, well formed, describing your experience or something you're taking away from the class. You can choose your own topics, but if you can't think of a topic, I've written some prompts down here. You could use one of those as your prompt, or you can use two of these or five of these, but um, you're, you're getting credit here for giving some thought to the class. And again, this isn't an evaluation of me as the instructor. It's evaluation of the class. Like this class, I thought I was going to learn something that I didn't learn, or I never knew I was going to encounter this, or I've never done group projects before, and this is how it went for me. It doesn't have to be all positive, but it is not an evaluation of me, but just thinking about the class and what you learned and how you felt about it as you left. Um, that's what I'm looking for for that. And so going back to the rubric here, um, that final course overall course reflection is 16 points so that's um, quite a bit of that and I think about 12 points of that comes from that last final thoughts about the course 
Um, all of the projects, the tessellation, expected value, scatter plots, and math history. There's eight points for having the project in there, not a link, but the actual project, completed project in there. Uh, the whole project, so even scatter plots take several pages, no big deal, put it in there. Um, and then, then including that, the reflection that follows it. So those are eight points for the project and the reflection for each of those. Your my open math reflection is just some numbers. Remember one through five. There's five points for that. Weekly discussion uh, reflection is five points. Overall course reflection is 16. That's pretty big. And then there's 12 more points that in here. And one of them is that all the documents have been compiled into one document. And again, the what form you decide to use is up to you. Um, PDFs, Word documents, and PowerPoints are the most um, easiest for me to look at and grade so those are the ones that I'm trying to nudge you towards um, but you've put it all in one you didn't have links you didn't upload here's my you know here's this and then separately here's my projects like all in one document so you will lose points if you don't do that and then um, finally the portfolio you've taken some time to make it look nice I shouldn't just see all kinds of random blank pages in it or illegible work so small shrunk so small that I can't see it or You've handwritten things that are very messy. This is supposed to look, have a nice overall look. So that gives you six points. I do take off six points if it's just like this was cut in half. This tape, you know, just randomly just thrown stuff in without really trying to polish it a little bit and make it look nice. Don't forget that you can always go to the LSS um, centers in building 22 in the basement, uh, basement, in the bottom floor to get help with um, things like uh, essays on the um, LSS West side. They can help you if you need help kind of reflecting on something or writing complete sentences and also um, the formatting. I know they can help you in LSS East, I'm assuming too in the West, but I'm not sure um, the best place for you to go for formatting that, but I go in and ask in those LSS centers and ask them for that. This is everything you need to have for your portfolio for your class. This is 15% of your grade, so it's pretty um, significant. And um, if you didn't do one of the projects, if you just skipped it, you can still do a reflection and kind of let me know why didn't you do it. You could at least get a few points even if you didn't choose to do a project. All right, that's what I have for you for this, and I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you next time.